Hello Heaven Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heaven Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am reviewing the Demonia Cult Shaker 13 Wedge Sandals. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So the Demonia Cult Shaker 13 Wedge Sandal. I bought these at the end of May, I think. Yeah, just before we went to Download Festival. I literally was waiting for them to arrive when we went to Download Festival. So yeah, they turned up very late May, beginning of June. I got these, as I said, to wear to Download Festival. I didn't end up actually wearing them at Download Festival, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go through the different features of these sandals. So they are a black matte vegan leather sandal. They do also do them in a patent leather, but patent, it's just not my bag. I am definitely much more of a matte leather girl. I think that it goes with everything a bit more that I have. I do like the patent ones, but I can just see myself not wearing them with as many outfits. So I went for the matte black ones. Now they have an ankle strap that you can see here with a buckle. We have got one, two, three straps all in to keep your foot in. We have at the front pyramid studs here. We then have eyelets on the second strap here with a heart shaped charm with spiderweb detailing on the heart shaped charm. We then again have pyramid studs here at the top and then those circular rivet details, the eyelets here for the buckle to go through. We then also have this very cute little D charm that is detachable and then we have the chunky wedge sole. So the heel on these is 4.5 inches, that is 11.4 centimetres. Of all the Demonia sandals that I own, these are one of the lowest of the wedge sandals that I own. I have the Dynamite 01s, they have a 5 inch platform, and I have the Wave 13s, they have a whopping 6 inch platform. So these of the three are definitely the lowest. They also have a very chunky sole with some really really good grippy soles. So we've got this wavy detail here and then we've got these cutouts here which give you some really good grip. So these are definitely very stable, very easy to walk in, they are very grippy. Of all the wedge sandals that I own these are the least likely to slip if you are walking along. Okay so let's get back to the strap details. So we have this fixed strap here with the pyramid studs. These are a a very silver pyramid stud. The Dynamite 01s that I have have got a slightly more gunmetal look to them. They are my second pair of Dynamite 01s that I am now on. My first pair, I had them for about four years. I was at a, an event, there was a local, um, like a country fair. It was a ridiculously hot day and the glue that is attaching them in at this point here melted and I literally just stepped out of them. But they were old, they were getting very grotty, they definitely seen better days. I had commented to Heavy Metal Hubby previously that I was probably going to have to look at buying a new pair soon and they just literally fell apart on me. So I got a new pair and the new pair, the studs on them were gunmetal black rather than silver. There's not a lot in it, they're not noticeably very dark but in the right light if you compare them to one another you can see the difference. I really struggled to get it on camera. It just You just can't get the light to fall right for it to particularly show up on camera. But trust me, there is a little bit of a difference. So then on the second strap here, we have these eyelets. Now, this is actually a double strap. So look, we've got a plain strap here and then a secondary strap on top. Now, this then heart-shaped spiderweb motif, I suppose you'd call it, accessory, it says on the gump that it is a buckle, and it is, it is buckled on. However, you can't move it. I thought it meant that you could actually unbuckle this to tighten it, because my Wave 13s, I can change all of the straps to a length that suits me. I thought I would be able to change the length of this strap. You can't. This little accessory literally just can be moved up and down the, the, the eyelet, but they have put it here and then not put an eyelet underneath, which I suppose is to stop them like scraping on one another, but it means that it looks weird. If you try and move it down to here, it looks odd. If you move it further across, there's a space. So you actually 
can't move it, even though they kind of imply in the product description that you can. Now, the other thing with this little heart motif thing that is made out of pretty solid metal is it's got a spiky point at the end here, which if you get it in the wrong position while you're walking, stabs you in the top of the foot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. I managed to get them into a position where it doesn't do it. You've sort of got to wiggle them up and down and get it up. But, you know, the first few times I wore it, I was like, why does my foot hurt? And I realised it was stabbing me in the foot. <laughs> so, it's it's just a little, I would have at least made it rounded if it was me. It's just a little design flaw. It's not the end of the world, but it's one of those things where if, it could be quite annoying. Now then, we've got the third strap, which is this very sturdy sort of double Y shaped ankle strap with three eyelets here and then pyramid studs here. Now, the thing about the eyelets, so if you look, the pyramid studs on the back, they've got these nice smooth backs so that they don't irritate your skin. However, the eyelets do not. The eyelets, the edges of them, are actually pretty damn sharp to the point where one of them, the other day, it's really hot at the moment in the UK, it's like 28, 29 degrees and it is humid with it. When it's hot in the UK, it's sweaty with it too, and therefore my ankles were a little clammy, shall we say, and it's cut me, it's taken skin off. <laughs> so it's fine if you have it on the tightest eyelet because then the other two eyelets are through the buckle, they're not going to chafe. But if you have it on the middle eyelet or the, the last eyelet, it's going to tear skin off. Again, I have a fix, I can put a little bit of, um, you know, like that medical tape, put a little bit of medical tape on the back so that when you're walking around it doesn't but you know when you're like I shouldn't have to I shouldn't have to they should have just thought a little better about how to do it I don't understand why they couldn't be exactly the same on the front side as and then on the back side because that side would be lovely against your skin because there's no sharp edges this side really flipping painful it's just slightly poorly thought out design However, the adjustable strap does make them very comfortable, they're very easy to wear. As they've got quite the low heel, I find them very easy to wear. And then you've got this little D for demonia, or demonia cult as they now are, charm on them. Um, this is removable, I remove it, I find that it banging when I walk, it just annoys the bejesus out of me. I, I'm just, I, yeah, I, I don't enjoy wearing it. I take it off, it doesn't really notice that it's not there, but obviously I wanted to put it on for you guys to show you what it looks like in there, you know, as you bought form. So the other thing is, these are now Demonia Cult shoes, but they used to be Demonia. Now, this shoe, if you look, it says Demonia on it. So, I don't know if you can see it, I've worn it a lot, it's kind of faded. This shoe has this like tape stuck on top that says Demonia Cult. Apparently there's been some sort of thing with the copyright or something like that to do with the brand name. So they're now Demonia Cult, not Demonia. And I think rather than have to remake all the shoes, they just decided to stick this tape on, which is fine, but it kind of, it sort of melted off this one, got all sticky, stuck to my foot. It was kind of gross. This one, it won't come off. I don't know whether I walk differently. I don't know, but either way, it was a tiny bit annoying that it came off, but I mean, it's fine. I'm assuming when they manufacture more, they will all just say Demonia Cult on them now. I don't know why. They were always Demonia Cult. If you tagged Demonia, you could tag hashtag Demonia Cult on Instagram, which is, I'm assuming, why they've gone for the name Demonia Cult. Apparently, there's some sort of lawsuit to do with the name Demonia. I don't know the ins and outs of it. But, yeah, you know, you can still, when you search on Google, if you put Demonia shoes in, it will still come up. So... I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, I actually bought these to wear to Download Festival. Now, other than the whole thing about if your feet are a little bit clammy, it skins your ankle. Um, at Download Festival, it was super duper hot this year, but it was also a long, long way from our tent in Guest to the main stage. We were only one field closer than main camping, whereas in previous years we have been right next to the stage, which was amazing. So it meant it was a lot of walking. And they have these like great big, they look like kind of flint coloured rocks. It's like, it's not gravel, it's much chunkier than that. I think because it's a racetrack, that's what they use around the racetrack to, for the non tarmac areas. If you walked on it, it just would slide out from underneath you. And with the, it's quite hilly on the download circuit. 
I did about 10 paces in these and was just like, I'm gonna die if I wear these. So I put them back in the tent and put on my trainers and you know wore them, which was a bit of a shame because they do look amazing. I was gutted, I really wanted to wear them, but I just didn't think I would be safe. And it's such a long way to go back to the tent to change your shoes. I was like, I need to wear a pair of shoes that I'm happy to wear all day and won't need to change. They are really, really cool. They're great if you're going on a long walk or something like that other than of course the, the chafing incident but because of the soles and whatever you can really take them you know on some some hilly walks um somewhere that the terrain isn't great somewhere where the floor is a bit slippery or anything like that because of these amazing zigzags in here and then these sort of chunky grooves in them and they're a really nice wide chunky base so I really, really like them. I think out of my other Demonias, I think my Dynamite O1s will always be my favorite, hence why I bought a second pair. I love those shoes. They look beautiful, they're easy to wear. But these are possibly my second favorite just because the Wave 13s, the six inch heel on them is insane and it can make it quite treacherous to walk in them. I have fallen over in them multiple times, whereas I've never fallen over in these. So I really like them. Not my favorite Demonia Cult shoes, but definitely a contender for the top three. They're cool. You know, I thought I would give you the pros and the cons you know they they can be a little nippy <laughs> with your spike there and like I said the eyelets nipping you but overall a good pair of sandals I really really like them I think I got mine from alternative footwear um, I think you can get them from attitude clothing I'm not sure whether you can get them from angel or kinky angel it depends I, they certainly didn't have any or certainly didn't have any that were a reasonable price when I got them I just tend to go for the person that's selling them for the cheapest price on the day so that is the Demonia Shaker 13 wedge sandal do you have any Demonia sandals what are your thoughts on the different styles let me know down in the comments below I'd love to discuss them with you would you like me to make a video of all my different Demonia shoes not just the sandals all of them because I have some boots and stuff like that as well I would love to show you my whole collection you know compare all the different styles let you know about them let me know again down in the comments if you would enjoy that video and remember to like this video comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and remember people stay heavy